I analyzed the last 10 winning public speaking championship speeches to understand what makes them winners. Was it their storytelling, their body language, their voice, their humor? Well, yeah, all of those things do matter. And we've made another video which covers what the pros do that we can know. But what was interesting to see is something a lot smaller, simpler, and more intriguing. So this is the secret hack that we found that makes these speeches so awesome to just listen to. And that is the callback repetition technique. Now, what does that mean? It simply means to state a word or a phrase or show something visually and then repeat that action or word at some other point in the speech. Hence, creating a callback or recall of sorts for the audience. Take this simple example by the 25th world champion Mohamed Ghatani. He starts off his speech by showcasing a cigarette, ends his speech by crushing that cigarette. What? Ladies and gentlemen, let that be our goal. Count to share. Now, I'm linking this speech as well as all the other 10 speeches in the description if you want to check out what this cigarette crushing really represents. But you get the idea about using a prop in the beginning and ending with that same visual object. Taking from Mohamed Katani's lead, the 2016 champion, Darren Tay, as well as the most recent champion, Verity Price, used props as well to create some sort of recall. Darren Tay used the infamous underwear above his pants and Verity Price used a letter from her father. But we don't have to use props. We can simply use our words, like how Ramona J. Smith did. In the early parts of her speech, she used the phrase, still standing. And she used both her hands to complement her words as well. And the repetition of that phrase in the beginning, in the middle, as well as in the end. And it's one of the key reasons that makes her speech seem so balanced. And as humans, we love things that sound balanced because they seem to make more sense. And learn from those past fights. At the end of each round, you'll be still standing. Even after suffering loss, I'm still standing. Use what you learn from those previous fights and at the end of each round, you'll remain still standing. And that's exactly why the callback technique works so well. Now, of course, logically using the callback makes sense, but if we remove it and use other words instead with similar meanings, it still makes sense, but it loses its impact. That's exactly why repetition works so well in speeches. It not only helps the audience remember the most important parts of your speech, but also makes it seem like it makes more sense, even if the idea is very simple. If you go to see, all these speeches focus on just very simple ideas. But it's the use of such techniques that really makes them stand out and makes them sound novel or different. For instance, one of my favorite speeches is by, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Dhanajaya Hitriyachi, who used a prop as well as a phrase to create callback. He starts off his speech with a flower and ends with that, as well as keeps repeating the phrase, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. You and I are not very different from this flower. Just like this flower is unique, you are unique. And then he said the most amazing thing. He said, son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. The unfailing quality of kindness in his eyes. As soon as I finished, he walked up to me, looked me dead straight in the eye and said, Son, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. People in my life were able to reach into the trash can and make me whole again. If it was up to me, I would have never been able to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, when I look at you, I see something in you. <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Over you. And literally, all these speakers have done that in some capacity. Ryan Avery used it with the phrase, trust is a must. The 2013 champion press used it with the phrase, reach out. Manoj Vasudevan used it with the phrase, pull less and bend more. Aaron Beverly used it with the phrase, they pulled, I pulled, but I hold firm. And even Mike Carr, the 2020 champion, used it with the phrase, the victory is in the 
try. Now, how do we incorporate this technique into our own speech as well? There are two very simple things that we have to keep in our mind. The first is to have just one simple message. Each of these talks focus on just one outcome. The issue is that a lot of us tend to fill in a lot of information in a speech. And then even when we use the callback technique, it's not as effective because we are kind of confusing the audience. And finally, when we start writing the speech from the beginning, we need to have in our minds what is the most important message we want the audience to take away because that is what we will be repeating to create callback. Now, this callback technique is not going to make or break your speech. And as I said earlier, we have analyzed not just these champions, but a lot of other professional speakers as well. And what do they do that makes them so charismatic? We've created a whole video on that, which I highly recommend you check out right here.